Hey guys, it's Robert here again, getting ready to paint again, and uh, I think this today we're gonna do. Uh, I think we'll do a horizon, you know, a horizon with maybe some, some couple trees maybe, you know, and uh, a sunset. Um, let's see if some water in here first, right? A little bit of water so we have a horizon. What you're gonna want to do is you want to split this painting into basically two. So you have to decide exactly how high you want to put your horizon, right? Put a little bit of water on your paintbrush with the blue so it st stretches it out. See that? It brings it up higher. But here's what you gotta do. You gotta figure out where about in here, where in here you're gonna want your horizon. So I, I would say like right, right there, right? We'll call that the horizon, right? And then we want it lighter there and darker down here, right? And we're gonna wanna put a little bit darker blue and just pull that in. You know, put a little bit more water on it, stretch it out, see? See the water running down it? It's okay, just stretch it out, see? And make sure you get the whole thing, because the best thing to do is always put dark color in. That's the best thing you can do, because the dark color will bring out the light colors. And if it's dripping, you wanna wash your brush, you know? And we wanna take this right here, this brush, the one we, we put water on with, dry it off a little bit and use it to blend. See that? So just blended it. Then we have the horizon right there. See? Now there's a little bit of blue on here, right? It's just a little bit. Of, we're gonna put that in the sky. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do, we we'll wash that brush a little bit. Let's see. We'll wash that off. We have to decide what we're going to do about the sun. We're going to put the sun in here somewhere? Um, I think we should put the sun in here. So what we want to do is we want to take another one inch brush. This one's a little bit thinner. So this one's thicker. This one's a little thinner. It's another Walmart brush. It's easy. Get a little bit of yellow. Right? Take a little bit of yellow. Let's see if you can see my palette better. No. That's right. I'll hold it then. So we take a little bit of yellow, right? And a little bit of white, put them together. I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit. You don't want it to be bright, bright yellow. You want it to be like right in the middle. A little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. See that? I put some white on one side and yellow on the other. See that? And we're gonna call this the center right here, right? We'll put the sun right here. Like it's coming down into the water. Pretty simple, right? Dip a little bit of water. You know, we want to mix it. Bring a little bit of sunlight out of it. See? Right? Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So now, let's see. I forgot to put on my palette with brown. But, check it out. Let me get this towel over here. Now, we want to put some clouds, right? We'll get some black, we'll get some white, we'll mix them together. Once again, just like last time, we're gonna mix them and make them kind of gray. Make it kind of gray, right? And don't worry, it's not perfect, you know? So, what we want to do, it's black and gray, it makes gray, right? What we want to do is just kind of, kind of just go like this, right? Look at that. And what we're trying to do, is we're trying to make it come this way come up like this, you know what I mean? And we want it to go like this too, see? It makes like a V. Now we want to dip a little bit of water on our color, get the brush just a little bit wet. We do the same thing, we're gonna kind of give it like a little bit of shadow, right? Clouds are kind of difficult sometimes. Get it dry, and we'll blend it a little bit, see? Right? Then we're gonna wanna darken it up a little bit. So we want the clouds to be, let's see, we should put some, should put some red in there too? Some red, some yellow. Yeah, let's do that, and some white, check that out. Ooh, that'll be cool, some blue. Get all those colors together, right? Right, let's see. Right, just 
put those in there too. Some colors in there, some reds. You know, I'll put a little color in there. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but just leave that open and put some blue in there. More blue in there. And you don't have to be crazy. You know, you don't have to put a bunch of color or nothing. All we're doing is giving some color to this guy. See? A little red, put some yellow in there too, right? Just keep filling it up with color. Okay, ooh, ooh, that's cool. Look at that. So we want this to appear like it's coming up this way. Like this, see? Okay, now we're gonna sharpen, we wanna sharpen, we wanna sharpen the horizon, right? Right now it's kinda blotched together. We want the horizon to be distinct, right? So we'll take our knife. Let's take our knife. We'll take our knife, right? Put a little bit of black on there, right? And we'll just kind of look at that. Make the line really easy. To do. So look, make a line right there. And actually, if you get it to arch like this, on an angle like this, it'll actually look better. It'll look more like a horizon. Okay, we're just pushing paint in. Look at that. Pushing it on the canvas. Not really caring how it goes on there, right? All right, there, yeah, it's got a nice, decent horizon. And what'll happen is it'll all come together. See, we want to put some color in here now. So let's have some brown. Put some brown. We want some land on here, right? We need to be land. We put the water in here right here. But we need land for sure. So let's take uh let's take our knife. Oh no, let's take our one-inch brush. That's a better idea. Let's take our one-inch brush. The sky seems a little dark, huh? Maybe we should put some clouds, some stratus clouds. Do the land now. We don't want it to all be water like this at the ocean. We want it to be land. Right? Let's take some brown. Brown in your brush. Put some brown in your brush like this, right? We're just gonna put some dirt in right here. Some land. This way we can have trees and stuff, right? You can hear the canvas. I mean, don't don't worry if the black gets in there too. I'm just trying to give it some land, right? It's interpretation. It's just imagine. Imagine what you can do, right? right. Some land over there too. Let's get the seaside. Let's get... Let's bring it in like this. See, a little bit of water. Go blend it in more. See? Blends it in more. Let's get it really dark right here. There we go. So we kind of want this reflection through here, right? So, to do, get a little bit of yellow. And white, right? And put it on the fan brush. Check that out. The yellow on one side, a little white on the other, right? And uh, okay, we'll stay like this right here. Some sun reflection. Look at that. Yeah. Brings a reflection. Just so no now best part of this land is doing the edging. We want to do the edging. Get a knife. We want to do some edging. 
it out. That too. And all this is just setting landscape. This is not, there's no detail in this at all. Just putting a backing in. Just setting the backing in. Make it dark. See? Get some brown too. We'll fill up some brown in here too. Look at that. Kind of give this land more mass. using the knife just to put some paint on the canvas straight up like that see easy okay we'll take this lunch brush put some more brown on it just fill it dude. you know it's okay if it, it's gonna blend with the black see that that's what we want to happen right we want that to happen we just want to keep it brown right see that little spot like this right we're just trying to make it look like that. So now the water's coming through here, see? There's water coming through here. See that? And there's land on each side of it on the horizon. The sun and the clouds, right? Cool. What we can do is we'll take some blue. We'll go back over here in the clouds. We'll take some blue. See if we can kind of look at that on the edges, see? Up top. Smack it a little bit. Just putting some color in here. So there was no color in there. You just want because the sky isn't gonna be white, right? Okay, and then we get it wet. Get a little bit wet, right? Get a little bit of water in there. See that'll just help it blend in. Look at that. This helps it blend in. It starts to make it kind of purplish. That's just cool, man. Purple skies are sweet. You know. I don't have any purple paint today, but that's how you kind of make purple paint. Right? I'm gonna get the fan again. Get some more yellow on one side and white on the other. Once again, same thing, white and yellow, right? See what we did right here? We're going to do that in the sky too, right? In the same V like that, right? I'm going to fill this up. Some white. We'll put a little bit of light right in the center. Put some white. Some white right in the center for the, the sun. We'll brighten it up, kind of do those swirls. Like that, look at that. I can't really see that, huh? Yeah, a little bit. I love pine trees. So we'll start with that, right? So I think we will start with a couple small pine trees, right? And we just, what you do is you just kind of go up like that, see? The little dot right there? You just kind of tap it a couple times. Boom, there's a pine tree. Then we'll make another big one, another one next to it, right? And we tap it like that. Right? Same deal every time. It's like a pine tree, right? Now you can also kind of flip them like that. Kind of just flip them like that. Kind of gives the impression that there's little trees, see? It's look like there's more little trees. What you want to do is you want to come down, come down this right here. See right now it kind of just looks like a like a like a ball, like it's round, like this way too. It's round like this, and it looks like it's just round like this. And it kind of gives you the effect like, and to really bring that out, you gotta come down this line with trees. And come down this line with trees, see? So we just pop more trees in here like this. Along the, along the, along the water, see? Okay. So what we wanna do is we wanna put trees in here. Like this, like a, we wanna, we wanna frame the, uh, the sunrise. We want to, or the sunset, we want to frame it with. So we'll take our knife, right? I got a bunch of these ones, right? <laughs> so take our knife, and we'll start, we'll play with this one. Take our knife, a little paint on the edge. See it? Just a little paint right there on the edge, right? On both sides, see? There's just one side, we gotta get the other side too. It's important both sides because we're doing a line like that. So what we want to do is we want to make these little lines right here, the trees. See? Little trees like that. Put one big one here too, like that. 
These are all going to be trees. I'll put trees over here too. I want a big one over here too. All right? So they're going to be trees. All right? Okay, now I got this new brush right here. I'm going to try it out. I mean, you never used it before. Let's see how it does. I'm going to load it with black. Load it with black, right? I'm going to use the edge of the brush right there, just the very tip of the brush. They start doing it. Oh, yeah, this one is really good. Look at that. Yeah. That's pretty good, huh? You just tap them like that. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah. A little force, the trees right there. Fill it in. A pine tree, right? Cool stuff, huh? Pretty easy. I think the next video that I make for you guys, I think we'll just, we'll, all we'll do is just one big pine tree and we'll just learn how to do a pine tree, right? Look at that. Just put it in wherever you think, you know? Look at that. In the middle of the sunrise. Just take your time, no rush, just make it look good. And you know, trees don't look perfect every time anyways. I think we'll move back over this one. Just make sure you keep your brush loaded up with paint. Maybe not. The new one works real good. Occasionally you have to buy new ones because they get so frayed and beat up from painting. All you try to do make the impression that there's trees. Just make the impression that there's trees. You know, you don't have to like be perfect, making trees perfect. You're just making it look like there's trees. And then we'll do the little flip up like this. Oh, look at little bushes, and little more trees. See, that's what we need that one for that. You need this one. Oh, it's wet, probably. Oh, look at that. Yes. Look at that. A little bit of water on the brush really helped that, huh? Oh, man, perfect. See, yeah, a little forest going on right by the horizon, I mean by the sunset, on the horizon, see? Alright, now comes the fun. Big trees. Big trees are fun. Let's put a big one in right here. Let's put a big one in right here, right? Big old tree. I mean big. Like halfway out the canvas. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta pick a spot like that, right? Just pick a spot. Doesn't matter. Start going back and forth, right? Making a tree. And I mean a big tree, dude. One to be proud of, right? Big old monster tree. And we're just putting color in right now. Alright, it's just gonna look like a pine tree. Let me fill the middle in. See, we fill the middle in with some color. Right? Big old pine tree right there. I'll put a little friend of his right there, too. Some more paint on there. Put a little one in right here too. See? Right? Maybe another one right there. I'm not sure. We're not sure what it's gonna be. We're gonna put it in there anyways, right? Let's use the other one. Try the other one. A little bit. We can set this. There we go. All right. Sorry. There we go. Another bit of, another tree right here. Oh, this is a good fan bush, but okay. You can never go too much, you know. Just 
we're going to put color in these pine trees. Okay. See? It's given darkness. See how these look like they're way closer? I like this too. This pine tree is in, this, in the middle dark. All right? Cool little pine tree right there. A little set of three. Cool. On this side, what do we do over here? Same thing, right? But this side, we'll do, uh, we'll just do bushes over here. The bushes, because we're going to want to do something right here too, right? Uh, put some trees, little bushes and stuff. See, look at that. All of a sudden there's like grass, <laughs> you know? But here, here's the trick. We are going to want to take this brush right here. It's a round brush, right? I'm going to put some black paint on it. All we're doing is adding color, depth. So, see that? Look at it. Like a round. Made it like round, right? Up here, too. You're probably asking yourself, what is he doing right now? <laughs> right? But don't worry, it's gonna come together. It's gonna come together. Don't even worry. Let's do a little bit of tap, tap. What these are going to be, is they're going to be kind of a tree trunk. We're going to make a tree trunk. So we need a little brush like this. And we will make a tree trunk. Come down like that. Right? Eh. They're not coming out so great. Maybe we'll use a knife. Give it a block. Right? I don't know. I don't think I'm too happy with that. What do you think? Are you happy with that? Mm, I'm not happy with that. That's okay. No big deal. Take our fan brush. Put some paint on it. Alright? And we'll like this. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of color in right there. Is that true? Put some more pine trees over here too. We'll put more pine trees in. Right here. What we want to do now is we want to sharpen up the trees. So take your knife, right? Carving out some paint, make some lines like that. It'll look like that. Right, we're gonna take that round brush again. This round one right here. Looks like a dome. I'll fill it up with some more paint. Do some more bushes right here. Well, you want to do them like in layers, see? So some more right here, that, and the let you get less and less paint on there. You go. Put some bushes right here. Right? And what we're doing is we're just gonna make the water line a little more dense. Easy. Let's put some bushes in. So it's, how do you make all those bushes? And then we're gonna come in here, right? Cool. Now that we've got some bushes in here, right? We're gonna have to put some color. We're gonna have to put some color in here. Let's put another part. See, this is kind of looking funny, so let's put one right here too, right? right? Let's put one right there. Add them together. So it looks more like a tree, right? More branches. There we go. There we go. I'll bring it down here. So what we're doing is putting a little bit of water out this time. Look at. See how it's starting to fray out. Starting to fray, it's perfect. See, you just kind of tap it some more in there, give it some more weird, more like dimensions. See, kind of darken this up right here. I just added pine trees over here, I did like willow trees over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give them some color. Now they need color, absolutely need color. So we're gonna take the fan brush, put some green on here. 
uh, time here, so. And put it on some black, too. So I have a little bit of black and a little bit of green together. See, look at that. But make sure you get the green, you want green in there. See, because here's the thing. Back here, you want these trees to have a little bit of green on them, right? Just a little bit. That one will leave black. This one will put a little green right here. Just touch it with a little bit of green. Nothing crazy. Okay, now we're gonna get it brighter green. Brighter green, maybe put some yellow in it. Okay, put some yellow in it. Okay, and we're gonna go right here. Start putting some green in this tree. Oh, look at that. Now that cool? Don't go a bunch, dude, just like a little bit. This is what gives it this definition, you know? Makes the tree look like a tree, right? Over here, put a little bit in here. You know, let's put it over. Put some green in here too. See now when it gets closer to you, I'm gonna put a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. A little more white and a little more yellow. Make the green like brighter. See? It comes closer to you. Come all the way up this one. Come up that one a little bit. Put some in here too. Just a little bit, right? Awesome. Yellow. Let's get some yellow. Put it right here too. Just a little bit, dude. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Because here's the key. Look at see here's the sun? So we want this side of the to be yellow. We want this side of the tree right here. Because the sun's right there, we want that side to be yellow. So put some yellow on the in the green on the edge. And just do this side of the tree, right? We want to do this side of the tree. Run down that side of the tree, see? That side of the tree. And then this one's on this side, right? So, all right, let's finish this one up. Let's get this right here, this brown brush, and put it in green, okay? Green and yellow, right? Same deal, right? And we are going to fill in these. Look at that. And we're gonna come over here, get a little bit of green and yellow in here. Same thing we did with the pine tree. Just a little bit, just a little bit. See, just a little bit. We'll do a bunch. Oh, see, look at that. Let's kind of give it some color. Then once again, we get the yellow. We do just this side. Just this side. See, the sun's here, so we want to do that side. Of it, like that. So we're going to brighten up that side. There. A little sunset for you. And I do have some red. So it'd be nice to put a little bit of red in here, huh? Let's put some flowers and stuff. Just quickly, real quickly. Put some yellow, put some red together. Put them on the top of your little things right there. Some red in there. Might as well. And there you go. There's a pretty little painting for you. Thank you very much. God bless.